these magnificent animals. You can see Moshi over there. That's Moshi. You can see the backside of Martika over here. And there are a couple other elephants right over here. And the whole point is to be able to get people to basically interact with these animals and be around them in, in as close of an environment as to what they're used to in their natural habitat as possible. And that's what this $25 million structure is all about, this five-acre facility they have here. Very interesting place. We're joined now by Sue Allen. She is with the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. Sue, th this is an exciting day for you all. This is a great day for all of us. This is the culmination of about eight years of really hard work and joint planning, about two and a half years of construction. A lot of viewers will remember that we had to send our three elephants to Columbus while African Elephant Crossing was under construction. They've come back. They've been joined by Shenga from Omaha and by Willie from Disney. And today they debut to the Clevelanders, and it is going to be fabulous. They're, they're inside now. They're a little, I think, kind of wondering what's going on. They're not used to people being here quite so early with all the cameras and a lot of strange faces. but. You can see them waking up, and I think they sense that this is going to be a big day for them, too. And they have a, they have a big brother here now, too. He's about, he's about 13 feet tall and 11,000 pounds. Who's the newest, newest character here? They do. They have an exhibit made. His name is Willie, and I predict he's going to be the new star of Cleveland. Willie came to us from Disney's Animal Kingdom about a month ago. Willie is 11 feet at the shoulders and 13,000 pounds. Now, to give you some idea, the elephants that you're looking at here, the females, they're about 7,900, 8,000 pounds. Willie is 13,000 pounds. You can't miss him. And he's a gentle giant, very, very mellow male elephant. He knows that the females are here. He's seen them. He's been trunk to trunk with them, but not in the same enclosure with them. So. We're expecting Willie to be outside today in one of the yards, and the four females will be in the other yard. So the, all the excitement starts at about 10 o'clock this morning. And, and this facility, this, this new area for them, this is state-of-the-art. This is something very special and unique for Cleveland. Right. This is good as, as good as it gets with elephant care, and this really allows us to showcase how our keepers take care of the elephants, and also it allows people to see how the elephants uh, use their different yards. There's so many different amenities in the yards that we have here, whether there's a deep pool for swimming, a shallow pool for wading. We've got lots of rubbing structures there. We've even buried a salt block. So we're going to see if the elephants want to dig for salt. Uh, they, they dig for minerals in the wild. We're going to see if they dig for the salt block that's buried in their yard, too. So lots to see in terms of elephant behavior. Sue Allen, thank you very much for being with us this morning. Thank you for welcoming us into their home this morning, too. Thank you so much. Again, things kick off here around 9 o'clock this morning and then 10 o'clock to the public. And also, all you moms out there, this coming Sunday, you guys are free to get in here, all you moms, because, of course, it's Mother's Day. Pete and Kim, back into you. Hey, Justin, uh, real quick before we let you go there, earlier, uh, maybe an hour ago or so, uh, you showed the elephants sleeping. And I noticed yes. one of the elephants was sleeping lying down, and another elephant was sleeping standing up. They can do both, do you know? They can do both. They, what I'm learning about these, uh, these elephants is they all are very unique personalities, huh. kind of like big dogs. They like to do their own thing. You can see one of the elephants over here. Well, actually, it looks like they're kind of done eating right now. But some of them, they'll, they'll shove their food into their tusk, between their tusk and their snout, and they'll hold it there to kind of have some extra food throughout the day. They're very, very, huh. very neat creatures. And they all just kind of do their own thing. And you can see one of them was dancing over here. In fact, Paul, if you could. Oh, Turn to the left here. You can see she's dancing over here to the left. She's going back and forth. Oh, and they man. just, they're, they're very excited right now. They're very excited because oh. their, their keepers are here and their food is here. So it really, I'm learning a lot about elephants and they are yeah. now my favorite animals. Aside from my dog Arlo, these guys are second to Arlo in my book. They're yeah. very, very cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. All right, Justin, have a good time out there this morning. Kim, you hear Willie, uh, 11 feet at the shoulder. Yeah. That's higher than a basketball hoop. That's pretty tall.